boy do I got a bunch of news and reviews for you today folks let's see what's coming up first at the beginning of the show is talking about all the NFT things I'm doing if you missed it look at the beginning of the show anyway first headline here is your first look at Lady Thor or I guess they're calling the Mighty Thor I mean to the Marvel's Avengers video game y'all remember that Anybody remember that? Is anybody fucking playing that? Someone must be playing that because they keep adding new shit to it. So I'm assuming people are playing it. So Lady Thor, Mighty Thor, whatever the fuck uh, she goes by will be added to the game. Here's your first look at her. She looks badass, I ain't gonna lie, but it's just a different variation of Thor. Of, of all the of all the fucking Marvel characters or Avengers you can add to an Avengers game. You're gonna add the same kind of character. I'm sure she's gonna have different moves and shit, whatever. But the same kind of character to this fucking game. They did this shit with uh, Kate Bishop. I mean, Kid Bishop it, it, it was pretty amazing. Actually, better play, play than Hawkeye. So maybe Mighty Thor, or Lady Thor, or whatever the fucking going by should be better. I don't know. I'm not gonna check it out. I don't give a fuck about the game. I spent $100 for that fucking game. And it broke my fucking heart, all right? They fucking, I bought it for the PlayStation to play Spider-Man. When Spider-Man came out, he was a piece of shit. It was a fucking rubber doll man walking around there. What about Thor? Yeah, I guess he is too. All right, what else I got for you? Oh, oh, oh my God. I got so many headlines that are gonna piss me off. So we got a little bit of... Sony is still going on full steam ahead with their weird Spider-Man movie universe that doesn't really feature Spider-Man in any of the movies, Akka, Venom, and Morbius, and they were almost done with the next weird fucking movie, Kraven. And we got a little bit of a confirmation that there's a drastic departure from Spider-Man comics to Spider-Man Spider-Man comics for Kraven. But and then this uh, this article comes from Direct.com, and here we go. Sony Pictures handling of its Spider-Man properties has caused many to scratch their heads. Morbius was a disaster that became an incident joke, one which Sony clearly wasn't in on, as it tried to capitalize on the movie's social media meme, following by re-releasing the movie into theaters. It went on to bomb a second time. However, when, even when the complete crash landing of Jared Little's vampiric main character studio is still marching forward with its Spider-Man universe films, and next up will be Kraven the Hunter, a solo project fo focused on one of the best villains Spider-Man has gone up against over the years. Despite the hesitancy some fans may have toward the project, it seems that the actors behind the movie seem to be feeling the direction Sony Pitch is going with everything. Uh, blah blah blah. Previously commented on how she feels. Part of, of something that feels like it's taking a step in the right direction. Now, the film main star, Aaron Taylor, pictured here, has spoken out about his time film in the movie and revealed a change to the iconic character. Buckle your seeps, folks! Because if you haven't heard this, it's going to blow your fucking mind. An interview with Variety, Craven the Hunter star, Aaron Taylor Johnson, commented on his time as a character and how the film recently finished production. Johnson describes the Taylor Vinn as one of Marvel's most iconic, notorious anti-heroes. Now they're anti-heroes, they're not villains. Spider-Man's number one rival. And note how he found it thrilling that the character is not an alien or wizard, he's just a hunter. A human with conviction. However, Johnson then confirmed how he's an animal lover and a protector of the natural world. And for some, that may be a potentially annoying departure, as the description goes directly against the core nature of Kraven as a character in the comics. And being an animal does not go well with someone who is known for literally hunting down the biggest game. He even wears a lion pelt as a vest, despite the change. However, the actor still thinks he's a very, very cool character. Johnson finished by revealing that the movie was shot entirely on location. Uh bunch of other shit here that I'm not gonna go I'm just gonna oh you know till this day I have not watched any of these fucking weird Sony universe Spidey universe they, they have a weird name for it I can't remember it's stupid I've not watched Venom I've not watched Venom 2 I've not watched Morbius I think the only other Sony Spider-Man movie I've watched was Into the Spider-Verse and that was a beautiful amazing film that has nothing to do with these movies I don't know why they're doing this they 
Part of me feels like they're doing this so they can keep the Spider-Man license going because they got to keep Spider-Man going. But Spider-Man's on loan to the Marvel Studios MCU Aka Avengers. But now, after Spider-Man No Way Home, they say there is a new Spider-Man movie going to continue. But no one knows when or how or if it's going to be in the MCU or if it's going to be in this weird Sony universe. Never watched the Spider-Man movie for a certain Oh, well, I don't even get to that. Fuck, that's a whole different conversation. Anyway, I digress. Craven the Hunter. There's a few things in the article that fabricates me. A, yes, yeah, sure, he's a great villain. Not one of my favorite villains. I wouldn't say he's Spider-Man's number one villain. It goes against the Ring Goblin, Doc Ock, Venom, Carnage, uh, la, 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 Mysterio, the Lizard, Scorpion, Rhino, Electro, I say Doc Op. Like, there have been some really great storylines for Craven the Hunter. And one of the most iconic ones for sure, which we will never experience in this movie. And if they even try to attempt to do it, it would be so fucking. Uh, uh. But to change the. Uh, to, to make a, a hunter, a man that his whole concept is game, the whole reason he goes to new york city to face spider-man is because he sees spider-man as the ultimate prey hence he is the spider man he sees him as an animal a, a, a game a prey whatever the fuck you want to call it i thought peter parker's number one enemy is spider-man yeah i mean that's actually a good that's a whole that's actually a pretty fucking good thing you know a lot of bad things have happened because of spider-man that's actually a really good point there I can give claps right there. But, um. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the first trailer to this piece of shit movie. So, this is gonna be weird, like, if he wears the lion pelt and be like, I love Adam, I'm, I'm gonna pet a, a, an elephant while I wear this lion pelt. And I'm a vegan. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. So fucking dumb. Anyway. What else I got for you? Oh, gosh. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. What the fuck did I do here? Star Wars. Are you tired of Star Wars shows? Well, buckle up, folks. There's a rumor that Cal Kestis from the Spider-Man Jedi Fallen Order game is getting his own TV show. Well, it's a rumor right now. Blah, 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 Is this a fucking spoiler for Obi Wan? Why did you start the article with Episode Six ending the series on a high? Why would you say that? Oh my god, I'm not watching. I swear to God, like the fucking episode came out today, people. Like, get fucking anyway. Um, the Star Wars Jedi series will probably get a three quote eventually, but a new rumor suggests that the Cal Kest is supposed to be his own live action series at some point in the future. This makes sense since given how much Disney wants to leverage the streaming service to properly brands like Marvel Star Wars, given the Kestis is identical to Cameron McGowan, the actor, and it would be easy transition to. The rumor comes way of YouTuber Star Wars Insider says he's heard that Cameron has signed on to reprise the role of Cal Kestis in Disney Plus show. He also has that no production dates have been revealed quite, but that has happened according to someone he's trusted before. Uh, I just love that YouTubers are now, I mean, I guess anyone can be a YouTuber, so whatever, but, um, they just be breaking ep stories and stuff. Dude, the forest guy, you, you know, it's funny to say that in, in the first few episodes of Obi-Wan, the new show, he's just rocking a gun, which is just funny to me. Like, he's just popping people because he doesn't want to use lightsabers. He's trying to hide the fact that he, uh oh, they're jewels, Betty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ladies and germs. Give a warm welcome of your of your butt cheeks. The doctor daddy. He's a doctor and a daddy, so he's gonna take very good care of you. Thank you for the show, buddy. How you been? I feel like it's been forever, I'll tell you right now. Just doing my news reviews. Sorry about I haven't watched the Obi Wan show, so don't mention anything about Obi-Wan. So I'm just talking about the rumor of the Al Kestis 
fucking ginger jedi from star wars jedi fallen order might be getting his own fucking show because we need fucking more star wars shows how about we get a movie out we got a fucking movie that's that's a good gift there. anyway where, where am i what's happening oh this is a fucking <laughs> what is this yeah i i think i did take it out but it might be good All right, so this is a hoo-ha kind of a story. Heat 2. I don't know if Heat 2, the movie's happening. I know there's a, 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 a fucking... <laughs> I know there's a book. So apparently Al Pacino wants Timothy Chalamet to play his role in the sequel. Ahead of the upcoming launch of director Michael Mann's Heat 2 novel, which served as both a prequel and a sequel to the 1990 film, a best of film festival had organized a Q&A panel to celebrate the original film's 25th anniversary, and it was attended by producer Art Linza and the leading stars Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. They're in a panel by a reality. When asked about the potential film adaptation of Heat 2, Oscar winner Al Pacino suggested that Oscar nominee Timothy Chalamet should should the actor should be the actor to take over his role as Lieutenant Ventana. Montana because you know, kind of described as a one of actor with a great looks. With great looks. With great looks. <laughs> what? You really said that? Alright. Oh, yeah? Oh. Kissing, that a kissing that ass. He too is a follow up to the novel. Uh, he too. And don't get your. This ain't. They haven't announced the movie. There's just the book right now. And obviously, it's probably gonna be a fucking movie if the book is successful. He too is a follow up. <laughs> Oh, fucking Christ. Well, he too is a follow up novel to the 1995 crime drama star Pacino as Lieutenant Vincent Hanna, <laughs> De Niro, and his uh, criminal Neil uh, McCulley, described as both a prequel and sequel. The He Too will, will feature stories that occur in both 1999 and 2002. <laughs> and with its cast of characters, novel is co written by a man and Garner inspected the line uh, this August 9th. Oh, we, we still got. I think we got some. Uh, I synopsis. like turtles. <laughs> One day after the end of heat, Chris Liz is holed up in Koreatown, wounded, half delirious, and desperately trying to escape to LA. Oh no. The LA are mean. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Doc. Out to him is LRP Detective Vincent Hanna says the synopsis. Uh. Hours earlier, Hannah killed Shirley's brother in arms and he became a gunfight. And strobe lights at the foot of the LX runaway. Now had determined to capture kill Shirley's last survivor of Macaulay's crew before the, the ghost out of the city. There's a lot of going on here. Uh, 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 there's, and that's, uh, you know what? Go, go look online. Like, crazy. Crazy violence. Uh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump into my. Hi, everybody! Welcome, to Jackass, and uh, I'm gonna jump into that mattress to Dawson's Creek. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I, I went too hard into that shit. I went, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure my roommate was home. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if my roommate was home. I went into that shit hard. I went into that shit really hard. <laughs> okay, okay. You're welcome. Let's see. All right. Uh, Freddy Krueger. Oh, he's scary. He's a scary guy. Uh. Jason Bloom, please. 
<laughs> uh, Jason Bloom believes he could get Robert England to play Freddy Krueger one more time. Jason Bloom has made clear many times over the years that he would love to bring the Nightmare Elm Street and Friday the 13th Friday the Bloom has family. So, uh, Halloween and the Exorcist, which is certainly always a possibility in the future. Friday Rice is still hanging up in the legal mess, of course, but what's the latest on the on the Elm Street franchise? Hee <laughs> hee! Speaking of Scream Rat while promoting the black phone last week, Jason Bloom indicated that if uh, Blue Mouse is able to get into bed with, with, with Freddy, he's confident he'll be able to get uh, Robert England back to play the de de Dream Demon one more time. This, this despite England saying several times in recent years that his days of dying in the makeup are probably behind him. And Jason Bloom says, I I, I, I could make him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is Jason Bloom is quoted saying, I could make him come back. I could get anyone back. What the fuck? What the fuck, Jason Bloom? What, what, what the fuck? Wait, calm down, Jason Bloom. Jesus Christ, this motherfucker. I mean, Ellen B Bert Bert Stein was 87, and I got her back in the upcoming sequel to The Exorcist. 75, he's young. Bloom continues referring to England. Damn, motherfucker, these are people, not fucking Pokemon. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Uh... It's been years since we heard a peep about the Nightmare Elm Street franchise with bloody disgusting reporting back in 2019 that Craven Estate was seeking out pitches for a potential uh, next installment series. The U.S. rights to franchise revert back to the Craven Estate a few years ago, so they're holding the cars at the moment. Uh, the Elm Street situation is far less cop- Anyway, we're not getting into that. But, uh, what else I got for you? Wait, wait, I, I would love to see uh, Robert Eagle be uh, uh, do a Freddy. But just do it a one-off, Jason Blumhouse, Mr. Fucking Sequels, all right? Just do a fucking one-off, one, one, one fucking movie, one nightmare, one good nightmare, one nightmare, one good nightmare. What do you think, fuck? Oh, boy, this is going to break your, fa your heart, but uh, it, it came out on the internet that uh, we, we almost had a, a remake, just like they remade uh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2, uh, that Pro Skater 3 and 4 almost happened as well, but... Due to the Activision Microsoft thing, they just decided, well, fuck that. Why would I do that? Uh, here, here's a quote from, from someone who was working on it. That was the plan, even on, until the release date was with us. We, we were going three or four, and then the carriers got kind of absorbed, and they were looking for other beverages, and it was over. It was, it was that they were trying to find someone to do three and four, but they just didn't really trust anyone. They, they did uh, Vicarious, so they just took other pictures from other studios, like, what would you do with with the Tony Hawk title? They, they didn't like anything they heard, and then that was it. <laughs> or just some way to bring it back. I mean, who knows? Maybe when all the dust settles and figure it out, you never know. <laughs> well, that sucks, man. Um, um, but you guys want to? What you guys want? I can't even do the fucking voice anymore. I can't do the voice anymore. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, 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 we'll go to the next story. I don't know. Wait, we got, oh, this is a, a, a Saskatoon story. Oh, Doc, did you hear this? This happened uh, over there in the, over there in the Saskatchewan. This article comes from CVT News. The Sask RCP are searching for a house stolen during transport. For, for people who don't know what the RCP is, and don't live in Canada, that's the Canadian police and yes somebody stole a whole house that was being transported <laughs> over there in Saskatoon uh, the Saskatchewan RCMP are searching for a house that was stolen while in transfer from the Tisdale area the home went missing from Crooked River between midnight 1230 and on June 14th according to a media release and someone played the the can someone fucking play, uh, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Can I do it? No, I got logged out. How did I get logged out? I'm gonna say, someone play the Unsolved Mysteries, but I'm gonna fucking do it, because this is like, this is like fucking, this is fucking, no, don't play the fucking Sad Hawk thing. Why is that all the fucking Sad Hawk thing? Everything's a fucking Sad Hawk thing. Sad Hawk there, Sad Hawk there, he's always sad, don't be sad. 
some base now. Hold up, I'm gonna find this. If, if y'all beat me to it, I'll give you cards. I think I'm gonna find it before you, because I, I, this is just a fucking great article. Oh, uh, yeah, you won't know this track. This is from the One Up show. They made it themselves. Unsound Mysteries. Unsound. I wish you could search on this fucking thing. I'm just scrolling. Unsound Mysteries. Where is the Unsound Mysteries? Can you find the Unsound? <laughs> The Saskatchewan RCPD is searching for a house that was stolen while in transfer from the Tisdale area. The home went missing from Crooked River between midnight and 12.30 on June 14th, according to Mini Release. Police said the investigation uncovered a dispute between a man and the house owner. Matthew Manley, 32 of Cadet, has been arrested and charged with one count of theft under 5000 He is also facing charges of other threats and assault with a weapon. <laughs> oh fuck, where to go again? Oh yeah, we'll go again. I can override things. The house has not been recovered, the RCP say. And it will appear in court. If you have seen the whereabouts of this house, contact the RCP. Yeah, right. <laughs> How cheap was this house? Fucking Saskatoon, holy 